Hi, welcome to Pulama Reading. Today I'm going to share with you another local Hawaii story. And this one might make you hungry. It's called the Musubi Man, Hawaii's gingerbread man. Have you heard the story of the gingerbread man who is running away from the, the old lady that made him run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me on the gingerbread man. Well, this is a Hawaii version. And it's about a little musubi man. Let's see how this story goes. The Musubi Man, Hawaii's Gingerbread Man, by Sandy Takayama, illustrated by Pat Paul. The Musubi Man. It's kind of cute, huh? Hawaii's Gingerbread Man, by Sandy Takayama, illustrated by Pat Paul. Once upon a time, in a tiny house, in the middle of a taro patch, there lived a little old woman and a little old man. They worked hard all day tending to their taro. Early every morning, the little old woman made nourishing meals for their lunch and dinner. Her meals were most delicious and they were always made of rice. Sushi rice, fried rice, fish with rice, 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 rice. One morning, the little old woman wanted to make something different. She thought and thought and thought and then she smiled. I know, she said. I'll make a musubi man. And so she did. She gave him limu hair and a little noti jacket, two takuan eyes, an ebby nose, and a smiling mouth of red ginger. He needs something else to make him extra special. Perhaps a umeboshi would do the trick. When she reached into the ume jar, she pulled out an umeboshi in the shape of a heart. Ah, perfect, exclaimed the little old woman. And she placed the umeboshi heart on the musubi man right where a heart should be. As soon as the umeboshi heart was in place, the musubi man winked one yellow takuan eye at the little old woman and sat up. He hopped off the table, ran across the kitchen floor, and pushed open the screen door. Stop! yelled the little old woman, running as fast as she could. Stop! Stop! yelled the little old man as the musubi man ran through the taro patch. But the runaway musubi man just laughed. Run, run, as fast as you can. You no can catch me. I'm one musubi man. And he ran down the dirt road. The little old woman and the little old man ran right after him. The musubi man ran past his big poi dog gnawing on a bone. Stop, barked the poi dog, dropping the bone and running after the musubi man. But the musubi man only laughed. Run, run, as fast as you can. You know what can catch me. I'm one musubi man. I went run away from one little old woman and one little old man. And I go and run away from you too. I can, I can. And he could. Because the little old woman and the little old man and the poi dog just could not catch him. Next, the musubi man passed a noisy minor bird sitting up high in a papaya tree. Stop! Stop! Stop right now! screeched a noisy minor bird. The musubi man laughed and laughed. Run, run, fast as you can. You know can catch me. I'm a musubi man. I won't run away from one little old woman and one little old man and one big boy dog. And I go and run away from you too. I can, I can. And on ran the musubi man. On ran the little old woman and the little old man, the big boy dog and one noisy minor bird. Soon the musubi man passed a sleek mongoose, sending himself on a rock. Stop! 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 
chittered the mongoose. But the musubi man laughed at the mongoose. Run, run, as fast as you can. You don't can catch me. I'm one musubi man. I will run away from the little old woman and one little old man and one big boy dog and one noisy man up there too. No way I go stop for you. And he ran on and on. And so did the little old woman and the little old man, the big boy dog, the noisy minor bird, and the sleek mongoose. But they were all getting very, very tired. Suddenly, the musubi man came to the beach. He ran across the sand and reached the ocean. There was no way for him to cross it. Just then a surfer appeared. Hey, up on my back, Musubi man. I take you across the ocean. Surfer smiled. His white teeth glowed in his tan face. The Musubi man noticed those teeth. He did not hop on the surfer's back. Instead, he climbed onto the very edge of the surfboard and the surfer paddled out. As the wave came closer and closer, the water splashed farther and farther along the surfboard and the Musubi man moved a little closer to the surfer. Come on, Musubi man, hop on my back or you'll get soaked. The Musubi man took another look at the waves and hopped onto the surfer's back. The waves splashed higher and higher and nearly covered the surfer's back. You better hop onto my head, Musubi man, called the surfer, unless you want to be rice soup. The Musubi man hopped onto the surfer's head. The wave grew larger and larger. Hey, you better get into my mouth. It's the only safe place to be. The Musubi man looked at the surfer's mouth and looked at the huge wave. What should he do? He decided to jump, but before he could do it, the wave was upon them. He and the surfer rode it all the way through the barrel and back to shore. Wow, that was the best ride I ever had. You must be good luck, little Musubi man. Sorry about trying to eat you. Want to catch another wave? Surf, surf as fast as you can. You can catch any wave with the Musubi man, replied the Musubi man. And they were off. They caught wave after wave the entire day. The surfer eventually turned pro and went on to win many international meets. And always on his shoulder was the little Musubi man. As for the little old woman, she didn't keep up with the surfing world. And so she always wondered what happened to her runaway Musubi man. She often thought about making another Musubi man, but neither she nor anyone else has ever been able to find another heart shape. Umeboshi. That's how it ends. So in Musubi Man, he doesn't get eaten at all. Kind of liked how this one ended. What did you think? Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.